Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to solve cat test from the company and which type of technique you have to follow during the solve. So generally, a uh, company gives you a drawing and they want you to solve that part using part modeling. So basically, they want you to use booleans only. So that's why I am creating bodies here so because we are applying booleans over the body so i have created a main body and uh, two more bodies and giving the name like uh, add and remove okay so one is the add and another is the remove remove So now what I am doing, I am adding the add body to the main body and I am removing the remove body from the main body. Okay. Now whatever I want to create uh, using the pad or any other command, I have to be very conscious about uh, uh, which kind of parts we are creating, which kind of bodies we are creating. So when we are just adding the material, it should be a boolean add with the add body and we want, when we want to remove the any material, it should be add with the remove body. Okay. So be clear in that point. So I have created a pad and now I am defining the add body and adding the body 5 to the add. So it's inside the add body. Now I'm creating the some fillets. Okay, and I'm use, creating these fillets inside the body itself, in which I have created this part. Okay. Next body I have taken, and I'm going going for the sketching. One thing you have to remember that your sketch should be fully constrained, constrained when you are solving a part modeling cat test. Such type of mistakes generally done by the freshers, so that should not be happen. So I mirror the sketch because I want to okay and then I have created the pad of the feature of the sketch and then I am going to add the body 6 to the remove okay so you can find this thing inside the remove again I am going to add one more body and components likewise I have to follow the things and again this case should be fully constrained always
I'm creating the further sketches because I have to use a rib command that's why I'm creating two sketches here I'm not using here the exact dimension what is given in the test. I'm just taking the dimensions randomly so that it should look like the test generally given by the company to the fresher in Katia and which has to be sold part modeling. So any drawing you will get and to be sold in part modeling you should follow this approach always the part modeling with the boolean methodology okay and creating the tree like what we are following the main body and two blank bodies add and remove we have added first one is added and remove is removed and rest of the bodies we are just adding whatever we want to the add one and whatever we want to remove we are adding to the remove and it is automatically removed from the main body here I can show you like uh, how can you fully utilize the pad command So this is the beauty of pad command and the approach of yours okay so using the same which gets self I have created whatever I want and then I have removed that one as well okay so in the remove I am going to add command because I want to ultimately remove this In the same way I am further creating the sketches and making them fully constrained. let's move this a little faster again I am going to create one body in which material is going to be add and one more through which I am creating a hole and I am just removing the material So finally creating the hole 
removing the finally body and defining the main body so this is the final sold cat test thanks for watching